Let's look at the following example. Um, Anna is considering adding toys to her gift shop. She estimates that the cost of inventory will be $7,500. The remodeling expenses and shelving costs are estimated at $1,800. So we have two numbers going on right away, right, if the project gets accepted. So why don't we combine 7,500 with 1,800 and just say that the initial cost is a total of 9,300. That simplifies the whole problem. Then we also know that the toy sales are expected to produce net cash inflows of $2,300, $2,900, $3,200, and $3,400 over the next four years, respectively. Should Anna add toys to her store if she assigns a three-year payback period to her project? Why or why not? So this three-year payback period that is assigned is that cutoff, that limit, the maximum that we are willing to wait. And you need to compare that to the actual payback period, which is what you need to calculate. So on our timeline, we have negative $9,300 for today or year zero. We have $2,300 in one year, $2,900 in two years, $3,200 in three years, and $3,400 in four years. Okay, let's calculate the actual payback period. So if you wait one full year, we will recover 2300, right? If you wait another year, we will recover another 2900. So we are now at 2300 plus 2900 equals $5,200. We are still far away from 9300 that would be invested, right? So let's keep adding the numbers up. Let's see how much we will we'll recover if you wait another full year. So we wait another one year, which is the third year on our timeline. And that brings us another $3,200. So where are we at? 2300 plus from the first year, plus 2900 from the second year, plus 3200 from, from the third year. We are now at $8,900. We are really close, right, to the total that needs to be recovered. So at this point, you may realize that, okay, now I need to calculate a fraction of the fourth year because it's not going to be a full fourth year. Here's where you find how much you're still missing. We need to recover a total of $9,300 that's the cash flow in year zero. And by the end of the third year, you will be at $8,400. So $9,300 minus $8,400 equals $900. We need to recover $900. We are not going to wait the full fourth year over um, during which we will recover a lot of money, right? $3,400. Instead, we will need to wait another uh, 900 divided by 3400 equals 0.26 of the year. So 0.26 of the fourth year plus the first three full, full years. That's your actual payback period. Three full years and roughly a quarter of the fourth year. So 3.26 years. And now we can uh, make our investment decision. So the required payback period is three years. This is the maximum we are willing to wait. Is this project worth it? The answer should be no. It should be rejected because the actual payback period is longer than uh, the three year required payback period.